guys so I meant to I uh, meant to make a video yesterday <clears throat> yesterday evening but I fell asleep um, so a couple things I wanted to talk about today somebody asked me about <clears throat> what is this chord so sometimes you hear this chord like if you take and go from a C just move it up, move everything up a whole step. But you still end up with the um, the third string open and the first string open. So if you look at what's going on here, basically you have the makings of a D chord, right? You have D, you have F sharp, and you have D. Um, what you don't have is the the A, right? So not really like a, not really a major triad, but you end up with uh, the open third string, which is G. You end up with the open first string, which is E, right? So D, F sharp, G, D on the second string, and then E on the first string. Um, so, you know, I guess technically you call this like a D major with a add 11, add nine. What does that mean? Well. What it means is uh, the 11 is essentially the fourth degree of the scale, and uh, the 9 is essentially the second degree of the scale. Um, and you may see this written in a couple different forms. Um, <clears throat> uh, and basically, you know, the question is is this like a suspended chord um, or not? Well, you know, um, sometimes it can feel like a suspended chord. Be Dog drinking water really loud. Uh, the dog's been chasing around this fly all evening, um, trying to kill this fly in the house. And uh, the cheapest toy I guess we've ever gotten is the fly in the house. Um, okay, but anyway, like, what is this chord? Well, why would I call it an add four or add nine or add eleven uh, rather rather than a suspended chord? Well, basically, a suspended chord is when you have the first, third. And fifth, and instead of playing the third um, in its place, you either play the second degree or the fourth degree. So when you look at the notes that are in the scale, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, um, you're suspending the third of the chord for the second or fourth. So you oftentimes see like a D chord putting that fourth up here so like in tunes like which is not really I don't think that's how Tom Petty played it I think he actually played it um, well I think he played it with a capo and F I don't have a capo right now I think a capo might be upstairs or somewhere but anyway Um, anyway, that's more or less how it goes, but, um, the second chord is being like an E, suspending the G sharp and moving it up to, to an A, uh, but back to the original question, like, what is this chord? Well, I'm calling it an add 11, add 9, 
primarily just because it has the third in the chord. Um, and that's just kind of how I've always understood it. That's how I think of it. But really like a suspended chord, like a sus2 or an add 9 chord, sometimes really fit in the same spot, right? Because it's just the addition of that second degree of the scale. Um, the only difference is does the chord have the third in it or not. Um, so again, you know, you, you, like knowing what you, knowing what your notes are on the neck of the guitar, and then um, kind of knowing how to, to think of those notes in relationship to to the the major scale. And um, you're, if you're playing some random notes on the neck of the guitar, you may or may not know what what the the key or the the root note of the scale might be. Um, but it's just like a process of elimination, right? Like, <clears throat> if you're playing four different notes, you have four different possibilities of what the root note might be in the scale. So, um, and now this may be a little confusing and stuff, and that's okay. Um, the the fact the, the more you um, can identify the notes on the guitar, um, the more you can identify the notes that are in the possible scales, because that's where the chord comes from, right? It's just the notes in the scale. Well, certain notes in the scale, not any note in the scale, because sometimes you can play notes in the in the scale in part of the chord and they don't sound that good, right? Um, but I guess that's not really the point. So the point is, is your ability to look at the notes and think, oh, is this the third of this? Does this chord have the third in it, or does it not have the third in it? And that'll tell you um, generally whether or not you're going to call it a suspended chord. Um, or an add chord, and generally, if it's an add chord, like if you, in, in this example, if you do have the the third, like that F sharp, which this sounds like Pink Floyd, right? I think there's a Pink Floyd song off the wall that has that sound in there, um, uh, but I don't really know it. Um, so anyway, that's why I would call that an add eleven, because the eleven is the fourth degree of the scale, and uh, the E being the ninth degree of the scale. So maybe this all seems really super confusing. Um, but <clears throat> better news, the Braves did win tonight. One to nothing. I guess that's barely winning, which is good than absolutely losing. Um, but the other thing that I was thinking about too, I was watching the baseball, watching get baseball earlier. I got thinking about, they sure did go through a lot of baseballs during the game. Like, you know, they're, foul balls and just throwing them into the crowd and stuff like that. I think they surely go through a lot of leather because all those baseballs are made of leather. Um, and I got to thinking, is it possible that you could be sitting at a baseball game eating like, you know, a Nathan's hot dog, like a Nathan's all beef hot dog. What are the chances of you eating a hot dog and catching a foul ball that both come from the same cow. Like, is that possible? Like, I mean, they're certainly not like, I mean, they gotta get the leather from somewhere, right? Like, are they, you know, it was just an interesting thought. And then it made me think there's a lot of cows in this world. Um, yeah, which I guess, you know, I guess I'm okay with, you know. Um, I guess I'm a fan of cows, but I'm also a fan of hot dogs and baseball, so I'm, I'm really kind of torn here. <clears throat> I never really thought of it too much. Um, anyway, I hope this is helpful. If, uh, if you guys, I guess, have any questions or whatever, just leave them in the comments, or most of you guys know me, so you can ask me in person, in real life, um, and hopefully you can review back to this video. And, uh, and it can be helpful. Anyway, see you guys very soon. Peace.